This is what this game has come to. He's getting jiggy with it. Michael hit the dance on his first kill. He hit the Fortnite dance. He hit the. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Nightmare Gaming here. And today, I wanted. This is a topic I wanted to talk about since the release of Chapter. Well, as Fortnite likes to call it, Chapter Four. Chapter Fortnite Four. Oh, oh no, Chapter Fortnite OG Season Fortnite OG, or as I and many people like to call it, Chapter Four Season OG. So, I think this season. I'm I'm a little I'm a little mixed on this season. Now, obviously, if you've been living under a rock, which you shouldn't be, because literally, like f I can't remember, like 44 million players were playing this at one point. So I don't really think I need to explain this, but I'm gonna explain it anyways. Chapter um, Fortnite Chapter Four Season OG is basically a throwback season to Chapter F uh, Chapter One. And if the you couldn't tell, but the chapter one map is back, and everything about chapter one is here. Now, I like this idea. It gives people like me a chance to experience what we couldn't experience. So good on you, Fortnite. I respect that. But exact same time, when you think about it. Fortnite Chapter 1 in 2023 is kind of, yeah, if you think about it. When we've had Chapter 2 to Chapter 4, we've had pretty big locations. And that's a complaint I'm going to go into right now. Basically, um, Chapter 2 at least had a big enough, like, the locations were pretty big. Not, like, to the level of Tilted. Some did, some didn't, but they were at least big enough and had a lot of loot. Now, the main problem this season is, in fact, that there is barely any loot you can get and barely any heals. I like that change with the heals. Now, I'm obviously craving the heals because I need to heal, but it kind of gives a little more, you know, pressure and more fights are going to happen without sh shield, you know. So I like that. It's it's a it's a it's a cool idea. But the problem I have is most locations are basically the same thing as well as not that much loot in it. What I mean by is most map the locations on the map are just as I like to call them little towns. And basically Paradise, uh, not Paradise, Pleasant, Pleasant Park, Salty Springs, Retail Row, and Greasy Grove fall into that category. Now, I know that's only four locations and there's way more, but yeah, I love, I don't get me wrong, I love Retail, I love Salty, don't really like Greasy all that much because Chapter 3 kind of ruined it, in my opinion, because it was, and also it just feels the same thing as salty or pleasant so yeah i love salty i love dropping there in chapter two it wasn't a great experience even though it had barely in loot and it's the same here but i just it's such an iconic location i had so many memories that back then about salty springs same with retail row but the issue with them is they're not really that creative the names are pretty creative i'll admit that but the actual locations are just small towns now, before you go complain, oh, well, Nightmare, you see, the Chapter 1 map was actually made with Save the World as um, Assets. And yes, you may be correct. But back then, this is, this is, I'm explaining this from a 2023 perspective. From In 2017, this was insane for gaming. Like, I can understand that for back then, but nowadays... This is, it doesn't really hold up with how barely any loot are on the map, as well as how creative they look. I feel like their creativity came in Chapter 2. Yes, they, we had the same old small towns, but at least they had some differences, like 
Uh, Lazy Lake was actually like a full-fledged city. Tilted Towers felt like an older city, but Lazy Lake felt like an actual bigger like city. Even though it might be smaller or bigger than Tilted. I don't know. I don't know the specifics with that. But, yeah, same with, um, I forgot the location from Chapter 2, but it was like a beach place. And it kind of resembled Paradise Palms, but it wasn't. That place was also pretty unique. Yeah, it might have been a copy of pa Paradise Palms, but there was like a whole beach there. Like, it was really cool. And obviously inspired by Paradise Palms. Now, the only locations that are actually worth going to, even though a lot of people are going to be going there, is Paradise and Tilted. Because they have probably the most loot in the game. And the only place worth going. Now, the other places have great loot too, but you're going to end up with like 100 ammo for everything. And possibly not even a whole full-fledged, like, you know, inventory. Now, of course, you don't need a full inventory to win the game. I'm just saying, like, you need to be extra prepared. You need an AR, shotgun, maybe an SMG, maybe a sniper rifle, whatever your preference is. I personally don't like running sniper rifles besides the, um, that one sniper rifle, the semi-auto, minus that. I just, I'm not the one to snipe. And grapplers as well, we'll, we'll get to all that. But main complaint, I just don't like the map. Back then, it was such a cool thing. Nowadays, it's just... It doesn't hold up compared to Chapter 2 to Chapter 4. So yeah. But there's one thing I can say about Fortnite OG is that the gameplay and the loot pool is amazing. It is probably the most balanced and fun I've ever had in the game besides Chapter 4 Season 2, which is my favorite season of all time. Mainly because of the collaborations, yeah. But that doesn't matter. Chapter Fortnite OG, it feels fleshy like how do i put it it's like it feels you know it feels easy like there's not a lot of like like loot like guns in the game like last season which i saw a tweet about this that we had so many shotguns but now in this season we've only got three which i'm gonna be honest i kind of like this idea of having lesser guns like I feel like it's a little more like, you know, calming than having over like seven shotguns in the game. I feel like this is a better pick, and I'll admit that the loot pool is amazing for this season. Um, for zero build, which I'm more notorious on playing, even though I've had my fair share of build matches, they really helped us out in this time around because if you don't know, Chapter 1 was made way before zero build. And they know they can't get rid of it just because of an OG season. So they kind of made up for it by giving us a lot of traversal tools like grapplers, launch pads. Actually, no, I don't think launch pads are in zero builds. Yeah, no. Well, grapplers, ATKs, kind of shopping carts, but they don't really send you that far. So, yeah. But other than that, really flesh out, I love the grapplers. I used to not like them all that much because of the how much uses it had. It only had 10 back in the day. Now, they have over 20, and I think that was such a needed change for these grapplers, because the grapplers are amazing. They're simple, um, a simple mobility tool, but the thing that was, they were lacking was definitely ammunition, quote-unquote, the plungers in it, and I love that this changed so much. It matches the theme of the season, and it's OG Fortnite, but buffing the guns up enough, you know... Which is not OG at all, but like it at least makes the weapons better, especially for some guns that I'm going to quickly mention here. The original AR, I'm super glad it's back, but it's kind of trash, I'm going to be honest. The bloom is horrible. I think one of the best ARs in the game has to be the scoped and maybe the burst. Actually, no, I think the scope is the best. Kind of like pretty good, I would say, ARs would probably be... The burst and the scoped. And the, the normal AR is just not that good. I'm really glad. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm super glad it's back. It felt super weird without this original AR in the game. But I'm happy for it to be back, even though I'm probably not going to use it all that much. 
So yeah, but I am I'm very proud of it. It's just not really a good AR to have. Minus its evolved state, which is the scar, obviously. That that's good. Speaking of which, the scar has been reverted back to what it used to be with this insane, like like insanely good um how do I say this? L lack of bloom. That's what I mean. Because it came back, the score came back in chapter one, I mean chapter four, season one, but it was hot garbage. So they reverted it back to what it originally was, or maybe they didn't. I don't know if there's some, at least some nerfs to it, but I think it's, it's in its original state. So yeah, now, um, actually hold on, I mentioned I was going to mention a couple other ones. Uh, semi, uh, semi uh, sniper rifle. Probably one of the best guns in the game right now. Um, at first, I was skeptical, but when I actually used it in game, it's actually really good. It's really good. If you can aim, which I can, but I, at least I can aim decently well, you can legitimately get somebody to one shot if you shoot them twice, even with shield, twice, which is insane for this sniper rifle because if you don't know, this was hot garbage back in the day. So, yeah. Now, that's really all I got to say, minus, you know, chug jugs, they're a little common, but they, these are probably one of the best heals in the game right now, it has helped me so many times, has clutched me up so many times, and honestly, even though this one was limited, it's so much better than Ocean's Bottomless Chug, now I know what you're thinking, what, 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 how, the Bottomless Chug is literally infinite, how is this one better, well, yes, but the cooldown for it was not even worth it. And plus, when you were drinking it, I think it was a lot longer than the regular one. I think they actually nerfed it. I think it was like 50 seconds to drink the whole thing. The one we have in the game now, which is the original, only takes like about 12 seconds. Which, I know that's a 3 second difference. But, you know, seconds count in this game. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Everything's legitimately the same. Tack shotgun's back in the game. Best shotgun in, my, in the game, in my opinion. Heavy is sucky. And the pump is alright, I just can't aim with it, and i rather spray because I'm a sprayer, haha. <laughs> so yeah. Now to the biggest complaint I have with the season, the item shop. Now if you know me, I am a cosmetic fanatic. I, I have an entire icon collection to show it. But one thing I have complained about is obviously the UI. There's only one page. Now, I know a lot of people are really happy for this kind of change because you get one. Like, it's not a whole freaking huge shop that you have to swipe down on and it's so much stuff. I actually liked it because I got to show off a bunch of stuff to you in the shop. Now, it feels like my item shops are like a minute long, which sucks because I want to show you more in those item shop reviews. But I can't. But that's, that's a little Nick Piggy thing for me. But... Other than that, I just don't like the UI. If you're going to bring back the item shop, original item shop, just bring it back in what it was before. With the featured, like this, the item shop makes no sense. There's not, there's a, there's not even a featured and then a daily second. That was the OG Fortnite um, item shop. There was a feat, like two, three, maybe four featured sections on the left. And then you would slide to the right and then there was a daily section. That's really it. Or you didn't even have to slide at all. And then if they had some special things in the shop, which kind of happened in Chapter 2, not really Chapter 1, they would have a whole section on the right that would have specifically that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But I just don't really like the UI. And another thing, one last thing to talk about the item shop, is that um, I hate that everything is 24 hours. Recently, we did get a Strange Things collaboration, which, I'm going to be honest, it was not my cup of tea. I don't care for it. Honestly, I love every collab we get in this game. I really do. I'm being honest. I really do. Even the ones I do not even know what they are. I kind of, I either just like them or I look up their original thing that they're from and kind of get some knowledge on it. And I really enjoy this collaboration. But Stranger Things, I'm sorry. Unsubscribe if you want to, but in my opinion, I don't like Stranger Things. I like the characters. I like the Demogorgon mainly. He's a very unique skin. But other than that, yeah. And then, besides the OG pass, everything is good minus the Peel skin, and that's really about it. Overall, this season's like kind of 7 out of 10 for me. I don't like the OG vibes. I, I mean, I, I, I like the loophole vibes, but I just don't like the map. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, this is all my opinion, but honestly, on any social media, opinions don't matter. But my opinion, I don't really like this season. It's a fun gameplay, but that's really about it. Don't like the map. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next one, guys. Peace.